welcome and thank you for joining us in our journey through the Bible. I am Pastor Rob Lloyd of the South Edmiston Community Church. I am in Studio 379 and we are digging into God's Holy Word. Let's pray quick and get into His Word. Lord, we thank you for everybody that's going to watch online as we read through your Word. I just ask a special blessing on each person that does, that they may get exactly out of it what you have for them today. Lord, just grant them that blessing today. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. But we are in Psalm chapter 19. Let's do this. Psalm chapter 19. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the sky above proclaims his handiwork. Day to day, pours out speech, and night to night reveals knowledge. There is no speech, nor are there words whose voice is not heard. Their voice goes out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them he has sent a tent for the sun, which comes out like a bridegroom, leaving his chamber, and like a strong man runs its course with joy. Its rising is from the end of the heavens, and its circuit to the end of them and there is nothing hidden from its heat. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandments of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The rules of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold even much fine gold, sweeter also than honey, and drippings of the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is your servant warned. In keeping them, there is great reward. Who can discern his errors? Declare me the innocent from hidden faults. Keep back your servant also from the presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then I shall be blameless and innocent of great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Psalm chapter 20. May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. May the name of the God of Jacob protect you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and give you support from Zion. May he remember all your offerings and regard with favor your burnt sacrifices. May he grant you your heart's desire and fulfill all your plans. May we shout for joy over our salvation and in the name of our God set up our banners. May the Lord fulfill all your petitions. Now I know that the Lord saves his anointed. He will answer him from his holy heaven with the saving might of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. They collapse and fall, but we rise and stand upright. O oh Lord, save the king. May he answer us when we call. Chapter 21. O oh Lord, in your strength the king rejoices, and in your salvation how greatly he exalts. You have given him his heart's desire, and have not withheld the request of his lips. For you meet him with rich blessings. You set a crown of fine gold upon his head. He asked life for you. You gave it to him. Length of days forever and ever. His glory is great. Through your salvation, splendor and majesty you bestow on him. For you make him most blessed forever. You make him glad with the joy of your presence. For the king trusts in the Lord. And through the steadfast love of the Most High, he shall not be moved. Your hand will find out all your enemies. Your right hand will find out those who hate you. You will make them as a blazing oven when you appear. The Lord will swallow them up in his wrath, and fire will consume them. You will destroy their descendants from the earth, and their offspring from among the children of man. Though they plan evil against you, though they devise mischief, they will not succeed, for you will put them to flight. You will aim at their faces with your bows. Be exalted, O Lord, in your strength. We will sing and praise your power. Chapter 22 My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from saving me from the words of my groaning? Oh my God, I cry 
by day, but you will do not answer, and by night, but I find no rest. Yet you are holy, enthroned on the praises of Israel, and you, our fathers, trusted. They trusted, and you delivered them. To you they cried and were rescued. In you they trusted and were not put to shame. I am a worm and not a man, scorned by mankind and despised by the people. All who seek me mock me. They make mouths at me. They wag their heads. He trusts in the Lord. Let him deliver him. Let him rescue him, for he delights in him. Yet you are he who took me from the womb. You made me trust you at my mother's breasts. On you was I cast from my birth, and from my mother's womb you have been my God. Be not far from me, for trouble is near, and there is none to help. Many bulls encompass me, strong bulls of Bashan surround me. They open wide their mouths at me, like a ravening and roaring lion. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax, it is melted within my breast. My strength is dried up like a potsherd, and my tongue sticks to my jaws. You lay me in the dust of earth, for dogs encompass me. A company of evildoers encircles me. They have pierced my hands and feet. I can count all my bones. They stare and, gl and gloat over me. They divide my garments among them, and for my clothing they cast lots. But you, O Lord, do not be far off. O you, my help, come quickly to my aid. Deliver my soul from the sword, my precious life from the power of the dog. Save me from the mouth of the lion. You have rescued me from the horns of the wild oxen. I will tell of your name to my brothers. In the midst of the congregation, I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you offspring of Jacob, glorify him and stand in awe of him. All you offspring of Israel, for he has not despised or abhorred the affliction of the afflicted. And he has not hidden his face from them, but has heard when he cried to him. From you comes my praise in the great congregation. My vows I will perform before those who fear him. The afflicted shall eat and be satisfied. Those who seek him shall praise the Lord. May your hearts live forever. At the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord. And all the families of the nations shall worship before you, for kingship belongs to the Lord, and he rules over the nations. All the prosperous of the earth eat and worship before him, shall bow all who go down to the dust. Even the one who could not keep himself alive, posterity shall serve him. It shall be told of the Lord in the coming congregation, and shall come and proclaim his righteousness to a people yet unborn, that he has done it. To wrap up our reading today, we started out in Psalm 19, wrapped up Psalm 22, just a few chapters, but I would just ask the Lord that until we meet again, he would bestow a great blessing upon you. That blessing being more work for you to do for him. That's what I consider a blessing. More things we can do for him. I just ask that he would greatly bless you until we get together again. Have a great and godly day, and I'll see you next time.